a teardown of the Tesla Cybertruck has it's just been done. It's found some really interesting stuff. I didn't know, right, that the Cybertruck seats have been actually screwed directly into the structural battery pack. I mean, that's pretty cool. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This new info we have about the Cybertruck is kind of interesting because it comes after we've just learned that the Cybertruck actually has wireless charging built in. So the Tesla Cybertruck is wireless inductive charging ready, as in, um, yeah, you can use it straight away for wireless charging. Now, Tesla have previously talked about automating charging so that you don't have to worry. You just drive straight into your driveway, uh, straight into your carport, your garage, your vehicle starts driving without even plugging it in. Now, a lot of people think, oh, that's not efficient. It probably wouldn't work that well, but it does. We found out there's new technology that actually allows wireless charging at the same speeds, seriously, the same speeds as DC fast charging, which is truly incredible. Now, historically, the, the issue of efficiency has been legit, right? But wireless charging using some more recent solutions shows us that um, issues like magnetic resonance have been solved and 95% efficiency has been discovered. So right now I'm charging my, my, my watch and my phone using wireless charging and it works pretty well, but you know, there's a little bit of an efficiency loss. It'll be about the same with a Cybertruck. Last year, Tesla teased a new wireless home charging station. The automaker never actually said anything about it though, it just released a picture as part of its presentation. However, Tesla chief designer Franz von Holfshausen recently confirmed Tesla is working on a wireless charging pad. So obviously, when that charging pad is available, you'll be able to just um, purchase one, put it in your, your garage or wherever you want to put it, drive your Cybertruck over the top of it and just charge it that way, which is pretty cool, I think. Now, in addition to that, we've just seen the teardown of a Cybertruck and it shows that, um, well, there's some interesting parts being used in the Cybertruck. Now, it's worth pointing out that the Cybertruck head engineer, Wes Morrill, said that along with the Model Y, the Cybertruck is the most made in America pickup truck that is currently in existence. About 65% of the Cybertruck's parts are made in the US or Canada. 25% come from Mexico. So yeah, in total, 90% is from North America. That's pretty impressive. The Model Y is 90% North American, but 20% is Mexican. So about 70% or about 65% of the Model Y parts come from the United States, about 5% Canada, and about 20% from Mexico. So that's pretty cool as well, because honestly, guys, have a look at what General Motors are doing. Um, a very large percentage of their parts are coming from, yeah, not from North America. I can I tell you that right now. South Korea, even China as well. Some of the Cybertruck's made in Mexico steering and suspension components were on full display in this teardown, which is quite interesting. The Cybertruck's 123 kilowatt hour 4680 structural battery is part of the chassis. We already knew that, right? Um, but it is interesting to see that it's very much part of the chassis. I mean, it's very much a part of the car Tesla are using structurally. Now the teardown showcased, um, there is a huge rear gear casting of the Cybertruck this makes any big repair or service job, um, obviously, um, well, to be honest, if you're gonna damage this gear casting as part of the Cybertruck, the, the vehicle would probably be a write-off. You might still be able to drive it, but I mean, technically, for insurance purposes, it would be a write-off because replacing that part would be quite difficult. That said, I have seen Tesla sending these gear casts out to insurers, to actual repair places. So it is possible to repair the vehicle if that gear casting is damaged. Now, one of the other interesting things here, guys, in the video is what I th still think is a brilliant piece of technology, and I don't think Tesla being given the kind of credit they should be, the steer-by-wire. Now, steer-by-wire the, is the future of cars. I, I think we're going to look back in 10, 20 years and say, we, we didn't have, used to have steer-by-wire for all these cars, and we were using it old technology. Steer-by-wire, in my opinion, is just a huge step up. Being able to have variable ratio steering rack that, that is completely, truly variable, meaning it adjusts constantly for speed. Right, if you're going 100 miles an hour, or if you're going 60 miles an hour, it's going to steer much slower, so it's much safer. If you're going to try and do a U-turn at low speed, you don't try and do a really sharp turn at low speed, then the Cybertruck obviously can massively increase the turning input without you increasing the amount of input you're putting in. That's a huge benefit, and that's one of the things that um, the guys who here tore down the Cybertruck noted 
just how the steer-by-wire mechanism works. But of all the things that I found interesting was just the fact that the Cybertruck seats were, yeah, directly screwed into the structural battery pack. It shows you the strength of the structural battery pack and how really in an accident, we're seeing more accidents with electric cars over the last uh, couple of years. And we're seeing that vehicles with structural battery packs like the BOD seal that have been involved in a few crashes, they're not actually having any problems with burning or anything like that. And their battery packs are holding up incredibly well, meaning the structural rigidity of these newer cars is so much better than previous generations of cars. And that's why we're seeing these safety tests, right? We're seeing these new electric cars get these incredible scores in safety tests. Have a look at the Tesla, the Tesla Model Y, right? Which drove off a cliff. I think it's the Devil Slide in California. The, the, the guy has driven his family off a cliff intentionally to try to um, have a mass suicide. Now, it didn't work because uh, the Tesla Model Y was the only vehicle that didn't kill the passengers. He drove off this cliff, lands on the bottom. The vehicle still looks like it's in pretty decent condition considering it fell more than 100 feet to the ocean floor below. So safety in vehicles, it's something we don't really think about. But when it happens to you, when someone hits you, well, then it really matters. I think the Cybertruck we're finding is a really safe vehicle. We looked, we saw a Dodge Ram, a massive Dodge Ram pickup, just pile drive into the back of a Tesla Cybertruck, crash into the back of it. The Cybertruck looked like it hadn't even been touched. It just had the logo imprint from the Ram, and that was it. The Ram was just completely destroyed. Thanks for watching.